All right, folks, I'm going to call this meeting of the Little County Middle River Basin Development Commission to order for May 15th, 2024. Please set your phone on stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Here. Present. Anthony Barton. Absent. Derek Nimitz. Absent. Dave Papalanos. Here. Ron Ware. Absent. Robert Ochi. Absent. Lamont Whitaker. Present. Present. All right, we have a quorum, so let's roll. Next up is the approval of the minutes from April 17th, 2024. Changes, modifications, motions, what say you? Mr. Chairman, I'm going to make a motion that we go ahead and accept the uh, minutes as presented. There's a motion. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? Be there none. Mrs. Lambert, roll, please. Tom Yes. Tom Becky? Yes. Dave Capilano? Yes. Levon Whitaker? Yes. William Baker? Yes. Moving right along. Next up is the chairman's report. I guess that's me. Um, Thanks for coming out. Again, this is a $275 million man-made flood control project. And if you don't pay attention, those green pictures up there now will show what happens to the community. We are far better prepared than we are. We're in this in September of 2008 to be prepared for Mother Nature. But remember, if we get 10 gallons of water for our five-gallon bucket, there's going to be some issues. Uh, we have a solid relationship with all the communities within the watershed to make sure that we have a game plan should that happen and know where those issues and where the concerns are first and foremost uh, it's an ongoing event it needs maintenance every every day the most important thing that we do is to make sure something like september 2008 never happens again no more stuff for me. So uh, finance report, we need to pay the bills. I needed a motion on the approval of claims for May 2024. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to go ahead and make a motion that we approve the claim in the amount of $294,357.21. There's a motion. Is there a second? Second. Second, Mr. Repay. Sorry if you were on technical difficulties. Uh, we'll go over to the claims here. Uh, We'll start with the larger ones. Christopher Burke, engineering 15,932. That is for the watershed modeling. And they will be uh, presenting in June. I was hoping that they could do uh, this month. However, we both agree that it'd be better off uh, if we waited one more month. And so they'll be in June to show the modeling, not over a little cow, but also Deep River and uh, Turkey Creek, as well as Big Beaver Dam Ditch. Uh, well, moving on to uh, first response maintenance, they have two good ones. One for Katie Marsh Ditch clearing. We have now, or we will by Friday, have cleared a Katie Marsh from Klein Avenue all the way to the confluence of Hart's Ditch. Uh, that one is for 15120 They also were very helpful with uh, an Isaac Walton um, Cleanup that was held with Isaac Walton, uh, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, and then uh, Keenan and his crew had a bobcat that were able to help us uh, fill up the dumpster. That's for eight thousand four hundred and ten dollars. So appreciate very much uh, him. And then we have BBP Enterprises. Uh, they've been doing a majority of the work on the Katie March Ditch. We we started one group uh, at Klein working to the west. And then one on the east going or the west going east uh, in order to, to try to expedite matters in the fact that we didn't want to be uh, all fully bloomed trees and cutting some back. Uh, that always causes us problems. Uh, they have claims of 17,675, 16,400, and 18,775. So we'll move on to Wiltshire excavating. Uh, I can group those actually in with uh, Northern Indiana Mechanical. We had an issue uh, out at Martin Luther King Drive where the road was actually flooding. Initially, we had Northern Indiana Mechanical. This was the one, if you remember, last month, the Beaver decided to um, uh, build a dam 35 feet or so into the underneath the Martin Luther King. Uh, he then got smart and decided to build it 93 feet inside. So that was basically in the middle of the road. Uh, we finally 
took care of that issue. Uh, we cleared the area going all the way down to the culverts going underneath the railroad. However, the road was still um, being overtopped with rain or with water. And with that, we couldn't reach the inlet on the south side of the expressway, which uh, is not necessarily uh, our project. However, in the uh, hopes and the uh, belief that we were trying to help out the city of Gary, we had to bring out Wiltshire with a floating excavator because there was it was the inlet was out 20 feet out of the water, six feet or so below the surface. We were able to rustle some things up. We don't know what was blocking it, but the water seemed to move and improve, and we haven't had any issues since uh, last Saturday. So mission accomplished there, and, and uh, we're happy that that's clear and that people aren't having to merge into one lane on Martin Luther King. Wiltshire was 5,000, and then Northern Indiana Mechanical was 11,378, and then another one for 6,894. They also happen to clear Kennedy Avenue Bridge, which is a constant problem. Um, that was for 3,685. And then we go to all of our pump stations in Gary with for Tyrone Integrated Services, where they clean the silt and debris out of all the pump stations, except for Verse South, which was just, there was just too much water. We couldn't stop the water from coming in and clean it out, but they will come back and do that. That was for 15,000. 829. NCAP for 14,700 was the general maintenance for the Chase Street Black Oak mitigation site. And then our normal pump station inspections, which is a little bit higher than normal because of the fact that we also went through uh, inspections this month, or actually the previous month, uh, for 13,979.50, uh, which if I'm speaking about inspections, all of the Gary inspections are or should be on our website. Uh, currently, and they're ready to be viewed by anybody that wants to. So with that, I think I've covered most everything of the larger proportions. All right, so any questions for Mr. Repay on the invoices? Once or twice, either now we have a motion and a second, Mrs. Lambert. Tom Yes. Tom Yes. Dave Castellano? Yes. LeVon Whitaker? Yes. William Baker? Yes, moving right along, Mr. Repay, Executive Director's Report, what's going on other than all the cool stuff you just mentioned? Yeah, well, we're going to continue on with a little bit of inspections. We received the drafts for the Gary uh, inspections are complete. The inspections that just occurred at the beginning of this month, which was Hammond, Highland, and Munster, I just received drafts for, I have to get back comments to the core by the 21st of this month, so that's, I think that's next Tuesday. Um, so I'm doing a lot of reading. The most part is it's, it rained a lot. It, it's actually six inches over normal uh, for our area. We're, we're at 16 inches of rain as opposed to normally 10 inches. So a lot of things uh, had been silted over. We have to clean out that silt. Most parts of encroachments, we, we're going to have to write some letters about uh, some residents that are building swing sets and uh gardens and stone gardens uh, too close to the river so we're gonna have to write some letters informing them that they cannot encroach on the 15 foot uh levy but uh for the most part everything uh turned out well the, the gary uh, gary hammond sanitary district had to fix a a vent in one of the pump stations as a matter of fact then forest avenue lori um and once that's complete they'll receive a satisfactory um update uh, first three pump stations, the second rehabilitated pump should be placed into service, if not this Friday, depending on weather, it will be early next week. That means that entire pump station will be uh, completely rehabilitated as far as the pumps are rebuilt, mostly the impellers, greasing, and, and the uh, the rings uh, have, been, uh, have been all replaced. Uh, the PLCs, which are the uh, control panels for uh, both Burr North, let's see, Burr North, Grant West, Grant East will all be replaced uh, beginning more than likely June 1st or around about June 1st. Also, weather permitting because we're going to have to shut down each station for approximately two days to accommodate that. Marshalltown will be a later fix uh, just because it is a different uh, type of pump. Uh, 
met out with the uh, Norfolk and Southern folks uh, about some various matters that we had to, one of them namely being to be able to get power to our uh, natural springs so we can get our cameras going. Uh, we currently have six new applications for funding from various communities. Uh, the levy survey work that we contracted Burke with has begun. They have a drone. We've notified the communities that this drone will be flying over um, this levy for, they make three passes at it. So it's a large drone, just in case anyone is uh, calling, uh, we have a person up on the levy doing that. Oh, we've been dealing with tax bills and I've already mentioned the Chase Street cleanup, the Ready 2 grant that we applied for, we're still waiting in Hart's Ditch uh, bank stabilization. Water has been too high um, as of recent days to be able to get really in there and do any work. So we're waiting for a little bit drier season. And the sandbar, uh, we're down to two questions, uh, which is uh, one, what do we do with uh, the, the woody vegetation and how to get rid of that? that is potentially in play. And then also the quantities, we think we're down to the right quantity to make sure that there's no additional uh, sediment going back into the river. And we've tried to explain and now we've just got to prove it. Otherwise, uh, we're working with Wolverine Pipeline on their issue. They're looking to do work in August. That's the last update that I received and that was this morning. So that's all I have. So for the sandbar, Mr. Repay, Questions is that with the core? So they posed the question back to us because of the vegetation, we have to give them a, a, a disposal plan on how we're going to dispose of the vegetation. So for the sediment building up inside the river, the weeds growing on it, we have to have a plan on what to do with the weeds. Because we can't put it onto the levee as we as it's planned, we have to get rid of it. We you, so you can't put phragmites on top of the levee. They so don't want we that. have a lot of phragmites. I understand. Okay. So, all right, we're going to focus though on not doing it there. Got it. Correct. So, can it be scraped off and then? It, that's the plan. We're going to balance the materials. To... Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to scrape off the vegetation, take that someplace to a, a, an acceptable fill area, and then we are working with AES who did the borings for us to make sure that the material is suitable to put on the levee to generate the three to one slope that we need. Thank you. Any other questions for Mr. Repay with regards to what's going on in the field? We're done with the first mowing session. Yeah, that's good. I'm sorry. Yeah, we 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 finally got to get a mowing in, uh, which was last week. Uh, we were able to get it uh, going. So and it was a little bit longer than we like, but it just we couldn't. It was just too wet to do it otherwise. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, the ATV uh, riders. Uh, ATV riders has subsided a little bit. Uh, we did notify DNR, so I don't know if they had a conversation with them or not. We still have horses, um, but ATVs have seemed to subsided at least Marshalltown. Uh, I'm not sure if that has occurred at First Street, but First Street may be too wet for them to, to do. So, to, and then actually, just to go back briefly to inspections, when we get these inspection reports, we basically builds us or gives us a format as to what we need to fix. So, if we have a bunch of encroachments with trees or trees that have fallen down, which has occurred and will occur continually. Yeah, we, we just we just go in there and it's a work order here, cut down this tree, this tree, this tree, and they have all the locations of where the trees are and, and we just have that taken care of. So we try to use that, like I said, as our, our work plan and um, we just get contractors out there to get it. Outstanding. Anything else? Uh, just one thing about uh... Bring your microphone, please. Sorry about that. Um, where Virginia, Malcolm X turns into Georgia, mm -hmm. that particular area, anything update on it? Yeah, we have a meeting uh, there tomorrow, tomorrow morning at 10 <clears throat> on site to go over some of the initial plans. And uh, and once we talk about it, and, and they'll move forward, and I imagine we'd be able to do it later on in the summer. Okay. It's I don't think it's that terribly difficult of a project. It's just a matter of building up that area that seems to over top over there by Tarver. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's a major issue, but a major undertaking. But, but it, as long as there's enough storage. Yeah. It, 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 it seems to be. Yep. Good question. Anything else for Mr. Repay and what's going on in the field? Either or not, move right along. Uh, any other issues, new business? 
All right, good. Next up is statements to the board from the floor. My favorite part, if you want to help us make sure something like that doesn't happen again, please come up to the microphone, state your name and address. We're all in here. Come on, folks, once, twice. All right, closing that. All right, moving right along. Next up, uh, let's have uh, something from the uh, commissioners. You're up first, Mr. Casalanos on the Zoom. So I don't forget okay. about you. Okay, thank you, thank you. I'm sorry I can't be there today with you, but I'm am with you there in spirit. I just want to let you know it was a it's excellent meeting you, you guys had. I would like to compliment the staff for the good work that they're doing, and also I want to make a statement that uh, we had a great show um, previously on WLTH Radio. We got a lot of calls from a number of people, and recently I got more calls for the fact that now, because what we did for the Rock River uh, Lake Station project, there is now uh, economic development that's going to go in the area because of the fine work that we did. So I just want to express that to you. And I want to end it, show that uh, everybody be careful, and um, let's not forget to follow the, the ones who fall for us so we can enjoy our freedom on Memorial Day and be safe. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Gazdecki. I uh, just thank everybody for taking the time to come out for this really brief meeting and looking forward to a good construction season. Hopefully we can uh, continue to move forward uh, and, and put this system uh, completely together. Thank you. Mr. Wyshlinski. Um, echo Mr. Gazdecki's comments. Mr. Whitaker. Um, pretty much everything's been said, so I want to be safe. Mr. Wicklund. Nothing to add. This is Lambert. Is today the day? I don't think it is. Uh, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Um, next meeting, folks, is Wednesday, June 19th. I'm sorry I wasn't able to beat the record as far as the meeting's time, but uh, check the website as it relates to what's going on. Everything we do, we put on that website, including this fabulous meeting on uh, audio and visual, uh, and we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. Second. And a second. Any discussion? Be there none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you very much, everybody. Happy spring. Wow.